Abdullah. We're looking at the computer because we are revising our head teacher assembly, what we've been learning in head teacher assembly. And this head teacher assembly, this one was about self regulation. Exactly. Now, self regulation, sometimes we're really excited or we're really angry, we're really emotional, and we need to just calm ourselves down. Or sometimes we're really tired, really sleepy, and we just need to make ourselves a little bit more energetic. We need to find the balance. We need to be the boss of our own feelings and get our feelings right so we can do our best in whatever situation we're in. So what does self-regulation mean to you, Abdullah? Self-regulation is when someone gets too angry or excited and then they um, just can't uh, get con uh, control of themselves and then they get out of control. Right, so when you self-regulate, what are you doing? When you self-regulate is when you like... Ah, you're going to show us some techniques for self-regulating. Yeah. But actually when you do self-regulating, so you're talking about somebody really emotional, overexcited, angry, out of control. But when they self-regulate, what are they doing? They calm themselves down. Right. So we always say, who's the boss of our feelings? Us. Us. We are the boss of our feelings. And actually, you just did the Grange salute. Where do we put our hand? On our hearts. Right. And what does that mean? That means the great CC rate. Right. Confidence and consideration. Okay. So to self-regulate, which is quite a difficult thing to do, we learn three techniques in our assembly. Do you want to demonstrate for them, Abdullah? Tell us, tell us about them and demonstrate them. One of them is tapping your heart. Uh, one is you can tap your knees over here. You can tap your heart and you can tap... Um, so let's, let's do that together. So let's say we're overexcited, we're feeling anxious, so we just tap ourselves. And you don't have to do it quickly or you might just get too hot and then uh, it will not work. And the other thing we said, sometimes you don't want people to see that you're calming yourself down. You could even do it under the table, you just tap your knee. Remember that one? We're doing that now. That was one way. We said tapping was one good way. Another way we said was, was pulling. pulling. Yes, show us. And this. Do it again. And let go. And do it again. And we just said, using the energy like that, sometimes it's just like, gives you a bit of a release, calms you down. Good way of doing it. And then we had a super, super breathing way. Uh, blowing. Blowing is when we like, it makes you... Put your hand in front of your um, mouth and then just uh, keep getting it close while you're breathing, like this. And how are you breathing? You're breathing in. And then... And the most important thing is to do it slowly. Because you don't want to do it fast because then you're going to make yourself all out of breath. But when you're doing it slowly, breathing in and you're breathing out, it just calms down. So that's self-regulation. So how do you feel right now? Calm. Really calm. 